The next thing is uh, something that is uh, very important in fighting is your defense. Again, uh, I have a couple of words that I use for my fighters. One of the things is called the shield. And I use my left forearm most of the time to protect, make sure that I don't get hit, of course, in the front, but also make sure that my right hand is a little bit hidden in the back. Again, as you see, my left hand is not under my chin, it's not in front of me, but it's a little bit higher up. When attack come, I just need to pull it up, hold it the shield. Nothing comes from here, I can see everything. And the second thing we have, when people are going wild, you have a couple of options. You can slip a punch, but when you can slip a punch in kickboxing, it's very dangerous. You can hit, get hit by a kick, especially if you do it often. You can block a punch with your hands, and if it's really wild, you can put your hands together and make a little roof on top of it. Uh, I call that the little roof. So my fighters know what's going on. When I say, watch out, Stay behind your roof, underneath your roof. That means you put your hands up a little and they can widen. You can see everything coming from the front. So again, the shield, the left hand is up, right hand is in the back. You can block everything with it, whatever happens. The roof is when it gets a little rough and you, you don't know how to slip the punch. Maybe even if you're against the, the, the cage or the ring, you just cover up, you can see everything. And everything you see coming is not as dangerous as stuff that you don't see coming. So if you slip and you put your hands away, that's of course good, but if you do it too much, if people see it and they follow with their legs, you're going to get hit. So make sure that you always have that shield up. If it really gets rough, you have a little roof.